to Dan's Fender Benders. What do we have here? Is it a Gibson Les Paul? No, it is not. It is an Edwards Les Paul. Uh, this is a part of the ESP range. Uh, they love throwing some curveballs. And um, so this one in particular, if I can get the zooming right, uh, is a you know carved top, vintage style paint and binding. And you can see this is a very, very Les Paul like. Uh, we've got the two volume and two tones. We've also got the uh, Tunematic bridge. This is a Tone Pros version, by the way. Um, if you notice how I string, by the way, I just mentioned this whilst we're here. So most people go through here and over, uh, which is totally cool. This is like a, a Zach Wilde thing where you bring the strings around the top so that you have less um, angle, break angle as they call it. So if you go through the traditional way and you're playing really hard, that can potentially break the strings faster. So the concept here is, is that you can go hard as nuts and <laughs> that's a coined phrase, right? And um, come over the top here so you've got less breakaway angle. Yep. Uh, the pickups have been changed. It was originally uh, Seymour Duncan SH1s and SH4s, but now we've got uh, bare knuckle UK made cold sweats. Got the cold sweats when I play. Uh, <laughs> so they've been changed out by me. Uh, the neck is a set neck. It's 22 frets and it's got an ebony fretboard resting on a mahogany neck. By the way, the guitar is also mahogany. Uh, as you can see, everything's bound. Looks quite nice. The ebony is quite perfect black. There's some birthmarks here where the, it's a bit lighter brown, but it's quite nice. The nut is bone. I'm not getting into that. I didn't choose that. That's just what came on it. Uh, the headstock, as you can see, is quite cheeky. This is very Gibson style, open book. Uh, but the deal is these aren't normally sold in any other country but Japan. So that's kind of like the deal for licensing. In the land of Oz, where I live, you're allowed to buy and import them in. So we do, and we appreciate them very much. Turning it over, it's not a lot to see on the back, but uh, let's have a look. The uh, back of the headstocks, you can see it's got the Goto. These are the original machine heads, by the way. And we've got the Japanese ED for Ed's Woods uh, serial number there. I've had this for about a decade, so I don't know how that corresponds to the year make, but um, someone probably knows out there. Uh, we've got a painted neck. Um, I have mixed feelings about that, but this one doesn't bother me. And the strap lock, hee <laughs> hee, uh, rubber. I just like using this on this one. So you put your strap on, you put the rubber over the top. Keep your rubber on kids, keeps you safe. Yeah, anyway, lots of gutter rash from the belt buckles and so forth from playing over the years, but she's a beauty. And, um, but yeah, if you squinted at this guitar, there's no way you wouldn't think it was a Gibson Les Paul. So I can understand why certain companies would get upset by that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the little song at the start there. As you can see, I got a bit carried away with my editing, but I'm having a good time. So like, subscribe, tune in again. You never know what you're going to get on Dan's Fender Benders.